Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about the topic five of unit three, which is sentiment analysis and speech analytics. Speech analytics is a growing field of science that allows users to analyze and extract information from both live and recorded conversations. It is being used effectively. to gather intelligence for security purpose to enhance the presentation and utility of which media applications and perhaps most significantly to deliver meaningful and quantitative business intelligence through the analysis of the millions of recorded calls that occur in customer contact centers around the world sentiment analysis as it applies to speech analytics focuses special uh, specifically on assessing the emotional states expressed in a conversation and on measuring the presence and strength of positive and negative feelings that are exhibited by the participants one common use of sentiment analysis within contact centers is to provide insights into customers feeling about an organization its products services and customer service processes as well as individual agent agents behavior sentiment analysis data can be used across an organization to aid customer relationship management agent training and in identifying and resolving trouble issues as they emerge so how it is done the core of automated sentiment analysis centers around creating a model to describe how certain features and content in the audio relate to sentiments being felt and expressed by the participants in the conversation two primary methods have been deployed to predict sentiment within audio first one is acoustic or phonetics second one is linguistic modeling we'll discuss about this one by one first one is acoustic approach the acoustic approach to sentiment analysis relies on extracting and measuring specific set of features example tone of voice pitch volume intensity and the rate of speech of the audio these features can in circumstances provide basic indicators of sentiment for example speech of a surprised speaker tends to become somewhat faster louder and higher in pitch sadder and depression are presented as lower softer and lower in pitch an angry caller may speak faster much louder and will increase the pitch of the stressed vowels there is a wide variety of audio features that can be measured the most common ones are as follows first one is intensity it is about energy sound pressure levels pitch it is variations of fundamental frequency jitter variation in amplitude of vocal fold movements shimmer variation in frequency of vocal fold movements h and r harmonic to noise ratio speaking rate the number of phonemes vowels syllables or words per unit of time when developing an acoustic analysis tool the system must be built on model that defines the sentiments being measured the model is based on a database of audio features and how they presence how their presence may indicate each of the sentiments as positive negative neutral refined such as fear anger sadness hurt 
surprise relief that are being measured. To create this database, each single emotion example is pre selected from original set of recordings, manually reviewed and annotated to identify which sentiment it represents. The final acoustic analysis tool are then trained and predictive model is tested and validated using different set of same annotated recordings. As sophisticated as it sounds, the acoustic approach has its disadvantages. First, because acoustic analysis relies on identifying the audio characteristics of a call, the quality of the audio can significantly impact the ability to identify these features. Second, speaker often expresses blended emotions such as both empathy and annoyance as in I do understand madam but I have no miracle solution which are extremely difficult to classify based on their acoustic features. Third, acoustic analysis is often incapable of recognizing and adjusting for the variety of ways that different callers may express the same sentiment. Finally, its time demanding and laborious process make it impractical for use with live audio stream. Linguistic approach. Conversely, the linguistic approach focuses on explicit indication of sentiment, context of spoken content within the audio. Linguistic model acknowledge that when in a charged state, speaker has higher probability of using specific word exclamations phrases in a particular order. The features that are most often used in linguistic model include lexical disfluence, higher semantics. First, lexical words, phrases, and other linguistic patterns. Disfluence, filled pauses, hesitation, restarts, and non verbal such as laughter or breathing. Higher semantics, taxonomy, ontology, dialogue history, and pragmatics. The simplest method in linguistic approach is to catch within audio a limited number of specific words that has domain specific sentiment significance. This approach is perhaps the least popular due to its limited applicability and less than desired prediction accuracy. Second, alternatively, as with acoustic approach, a model is built based on understanding when linguistic elements are predictors of particular sentiments and this model is then run against a series of recordings to determine the sentiments that are contained therein. The challenge with this approach is in collecting the linguistic information contained in any corpus of audio. This has traditionally been done using a large vocabulary continuous speech recognition that is LVC. SR system often referred to as speech to text. However, however, LV CSR system are prone to creating significant error in textual index indices they create. In addition, the level of computational effort they require that is the amount of computer processing power needed to analyze large amount of audio content have made them very have made them very expensive to deploy for mass audio analysis and the last approach yet another approach to linguistic analysis is that of phonetic indexing and searching 
Among the significant advantages associated with this approach to linguistic modeling is the method's ability to maintain a higher degree of accuracy no matter what the quality of audio source and its incorporation of conversational context through the use of structured query during analysis. So, in this session, we discussed about what is speech analytics. We discussed about different methods. We discussed about the two primary methods that have been deployed to predict the sentiment within audio. That is, we discussed about acoustic or phonetic and linguistic modeling. Thank you.